Drop servicing is a full-fledged, legit online business. It is not just a side hustle whereby you do it during your free time or to earn extra income. You will give up very soon if you don't treat this as a business. So today I have specially prepared a checklist which is vital for a successful job servicing business. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is May and on this channel, I aim to help online entrepreneurs grow their online business and create a massive online income. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. I know many of us want to make money online and want the shortest way possible to make money online. And I know that job servicing is one of the best and most profitable online business that I have tried and yes, it will get you the income that you want provided you use specific strategies. After sharing my job servicing journey for almost two years now, I have realized many of you have problem getting clients. And I know what is your biggest mistake and what are your challenges. Based on some of your comments and questions on my recent videos, I have gathered that most of you have difficulties finding clients. So today I have specially prepared one checklist for you so that you can refer to. I will be explaining each and every point of this checklist. This checklist is so important because you need to have every single point in this checklist in order to have a successful job servicing business. Make sure that you stick to the end because I will be listing down a summary of this checklist so that you can screen capture it. Based on my observation, I realized that many of us when we start doing job servicing is just testing out. This is okay for a start but if you want to scale up your job servicing business, you definitely need a branding. Instead of branding yourself as a freelancer and promoting your services to businesses, you need to have a branding and not just portraying yourself as a freelancer. If you work on your branding, you will definitely get much more higher profit. When I first started, I didn't have any brand at all. It was a very last minute setting up all my uh, services to sell on the online marketplace. So for that, my main difficulty when selling was I couldn't sell at a higher price. So I need to price it at a very low price and my profit margin was pretty low. So after I have created the creative guys, and this is my job servicing business and it's a creative agency. I'm able to fetch much more higher price for my packages, for my services. And that is when I'm able to scale up my business and I do not need to keep on finding clients. One month, I just need to work with three clients or four clients at most. So what you need for your branding will be your brand identity, your business name, as well as your brand message. The next thing on the checklist will be high demand service. So your job servicing business need to promote web services which are high in demand so that you can sell more of the service. This, it is very crucial for you to do some market research before promoting the web service. Not just that, you also need to have a high profit service to sell in order to be successful in job servicing business because we are looking at at least a 50% and above profit margin for each service that you sell. Job servicing business is an online business model and hence you need to have a social presence. I realize many people fail in this business is because they do not have any social presence. What I mean by social presence is that your job servicing business is easily accessible and available on all the social media platforms. You do not need to start creating business pages on every single social media platforms. You just need to choose at least two to three to start with. Our aim here is to grow our followers and convert them into clients. This is by far the most profitable and sustainable way to find clients. This also leads to the next point on the checklist, which is to have your target audience. Once you have determined a target audience, it is easier for you to grow on your social media platforms as well. Not having a target audience is the number one reason why so many job servicers fail in this business. Determining your target audience is so crucial because you'll be able to know what are the services that you can promote to them as well as knowing their pain points. When you know the pain points of your target audience, you'll be able to market to them 
easily. The next thing on the checklist will be listing your services on multiple platforms. In fact, if you are able to list on as many platforms as possible will be good because this is exposure for your brand. So online platforms like LinkedIn, Upwork, Carousel, any community online platforms, online marketplaces, is a good place for you to market your services. These online marketplaces are very good platforms for you to attract clients. I have said this so many times, this is the best and the fastest way for you to get clients. Most of my students in my private community get their first few clients from online marketplaces. So if you're asking me, where do I find these local community marketplaces? Mostly every country have their own community marketplace. One of my students in my coaching program get to close her very first client and turning the client into a recurring client from an online marketplace. So my advice to you is to find out and do a research on what are the popular community online marketplace that you have in your own country. One thing you need to do when you are listing on online marketplaces is to optimize the listing. Use a proper and relevant keywords on the title and the description of your listing as well as using attractive images. In order for you to grow your job servicing business, you also need to have social media marketing. Your social media marketing need to include in organic as well as paid marketing. Once you have established a social presence for your drop servicing brand, then you need to use social media marketing to boost and promote your brand. So social media marketing is one of the best way to get client as well because most of our client is available on social media platforms. The next thing on the checklist which is very crucial is to have a team of good freelancers. There are many good freelancers available online. Most of the time I will stick to freelancers on Fiverr because they offer very competitive pricing. Hiring freelancer on Fiverr or other platforms is the same like hiring staff for your business. You need to explore and experiment different freelancers and sooner or later, you will form a team of good freelancers. One advice for you is to interview the freelancers and have a look at their previous jobs before hiring them. Another two very, very important things that you need for your job servicing business will be the portfolios as well as your testimonials. So when it comes to portfolio, many of you ask if you are new to job servicing and you do not have any portfolio, there are two methods that you can get your portfolio without any previous experience. Firstly, depends on what service you are promoting, you can actually create your own portfolio. For example, for my it's a video editing services, I put a few videos which have been made by myself as well as by the freelancer and I just forward these few portfolios to my client and I'm able to close the client. So my point is you do not need to have a client first before you're able to sell the service, you see. So you just need to do this one time. The second way is to buy a service from the Fiverr freelancer. You can buy the service for your own business use. And I'm going to tell you this is very beneficial in two ways. Firstly, you can test out the freelancer's job. Secondly, you yourself starting a job servicing business, you also need the service from this freelancer. So use this as your portfolio. Buying the service from Fiverr freelancer is not very expensive and you can treat it as a business startup cost. The next important thing that you need to have for your job servicing business will be a website. Website is one of your brand identity. It is so important because it's like an address for your business. As a start, you can just start with a very basic website. You can easily create a website from any website builder like WordPress or if you want an even easier way, you can watch this video over here. Next, we have content marketing. This is another way that you can grow your followers and convert your followers into clients. By providing valuable content to your target audience, you are able to attract this target audience to your business page and you can build a credibility for your business as well. So be consistent in this and give valuable content as frequent as possible. This content can be posted on your social media pages. Content marketing is one of the organic way that I get inquiries for my services. Next thing I want to talk about is your products, which are your digital services. So once you have determined the service that you want to focus on, you need to come up with upsell packages or what we call it as bundles. So you need to give your clients a selection of bundles. So these bundles is good because you are giving options to your client and this can be a very good tool to upsell your packages. These packages can lead to retainer packages 
which is something that you need to have in your job servicing business because it will give you recurring income. Retainer package is something that allows your client to sign up for a subscription service so that they pay you every month in order to engage your service. This is a win-win situation because with retainer package, your client is able to get a heavily discounted package and for yourself, you have a loyal client and you are able to get a recurring income from this client. That is the reason why I say in the beginning of this video that you do not need to work with a lot of clients. I want you to build a job servicing agency whereby you can sell different kinds of bundles and packages so you are able to get recurring income from the retainer packages. This checklist is like a building block for your job servicing business. It may seem a lot of work at first, but once you have ticked every single thing on this checklist, you have taken your job servicing business to the next level and you will not have any problem getting clients at all. Implement every single thing on this checklist. This checklist is part of the pillars of my job servicing accelerator program whereby my students implement the same pillars to get excellent results. They are able to grow their job servicing business in a very short period of time and start to get recurring income in three months time. So if you're interested to join my program, I will leave a link in the description box below. So make sure that you check it out. I hope today's tutorial are able to give you a clarity on what you need to do for your job servicing business. And as promised, I will be including the checklist for you after this screen. So that's all for today. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.